Dear loving Heavenly Father, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will do something about this. The, 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 the video I was just doing then just got wiped off. I pray divine protection, Lord God, over uh, divine protection over the phone and over the speaker because, Lord, we are doing your work. Um, and I just pray in Jesus' name we want to reach people, we want people to get saved. So I just pray in the name of Jesus. Satan, get off this speaker in Jesus' name. Lord, remove every trace. Whatever somebody's doing to the speaker, Lord, let it return back onto their device sevenfold in Jesus' name. And you protect this device. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Here we go. I'm just gonna trust you, Lord. God bless you, York. We haven't come here with a condemning message, but we've come here to tell you that time is short and that the Lord Jesus is about to descend from heaven and gather all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind because you rejected the love of the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. Lay hold of your salvation. Your salvation has got nothing to do with what you must do except believe on the one who did it all, the Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified on the cross to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you confess Jesus as Lord, and you're not ashamed or afraid to say, I need you, Lord Jesus, come into my life, and you truly believe in your heart that God raised him to life on the third day, you will be saved. That's how simple it is to be saved. But Jesus made a stark warning. He said, except you repent, which means except you believe the gospel, then you're going to perish. For all have sinned, and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages, the penalty of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is eternal life through Jesus Christ for everybody that believes, no matter what you have done. So please turn to the Lord Jesus. He's promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him in truth. We are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming for his church and then this world shall be turned upside down. The Lord himself is going to descend and gather all born again believers up into heaven in the rapture and then this world will be turned upside down indeed. My gosh, I can't believe how many of you are gambling with your soul. So many of you are only going to find out how real hell is when you land there. Please don't be one of them. Lay hold of your salvation. Stop mocking. God cannot be mocked. Lay hold of your salvation. It doesn't matter what you've done. But Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this wicked and adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Jesus Christ is coming. Don't be left behind. Yes, Father, you, you are capable of doing all things. This is a light thing for you, Lord, to, to stop this uh, interference and to protect the camera. So I pray, Lord. I pray, pray, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you answer prayers. Lord, all it takes is of some faith. So I believe you're bigger than them, Lord. You're bigger than the Satanists around here. So, Lord, my God, for your glory's sake, for your people's sake, for your name's sake, protect this equipment, protect the uh, uh, device, uh, the camera, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I wait patiently for you to answer. Thank you in the name of Jesus so that the gospel has free course without any, any intervention of any evil whatsoever. May the angel of the Lord shield this device completely, both devices, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, York. We have come here to tell you that time is short. The Lord Jesus is coming. And if you haven't laid hold of your salvation by now, then please do so. Your salvation... Isn't a process 
and it's got nothing to do with what you must do except believe on the one who did it all, the Lord Jesus, who paid the penalty in full on that cross for all our sin, past, present and future sin. And he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. And if you are not ashamed to say, I need you, Lord Jesus, come into my life, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, except you repent, you will all perish. Except you believe, you will all perish. Which means you will certainly land in hell, in outer darkness, for eternity, weeping and wailing, gnashing your teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. And that's where all people go who reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is available for all of you. How can you be like this and say, no, I don't want everlasting life? You're taking a gamble with your soul. Many. Don't be one of the many who only find out how real hell is out of darkness when you land there. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you. He loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life and granted a mansion in heaven according to the word of God. This is available for anybody and everybody that believes. That's the only requirement. One requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life, for you to be granted a place in heaven, is believe the gospel. Believe the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. And this is available to everybody, no matter what you've done. Believe the gospel, how that Jesus was sacrificed on the cross to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you're not ashamed to say, I need you Lord Jesus, come into my life and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. In a twinkling of the eye, you will be saved, sealed, sanctified, justified with everlasting life. Your name shall be written in the book of life and you'll escape the damnation of hell. God is righteous and he's about to pour out his judgments and his wrath upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the Lord our God, our Creator, our Holy Father in heaven. God bless you, sir. You who think I'm crazy, I think you're all crazy for rejecting everlasting life. I couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe that so many people who are taking the gamble, who are only going to find out how real hell is when you land there. Repent, for the kingdom of God is come unto you. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at stake. Your, de your eternal destination depends on whether or not you are going to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I wouldn't hesitate if I was you, because he's about to come. The Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall be resurrected first, and then we which are alive, that means all believers which are alive and remain, we're going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then, according to the prophet Isaiah, this world is going to be turned upside down. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and turneth turneth it upside down, maketh it waste and turneth it upside down. This will happen immediately after the rapture of the church. First, the Lord Jesus descends and takes all believers up into heaven in the rapture and then the great tribulation period will start. 
It's called the Great Tribulation because it, that's just what it's going to be like. The Bible says that in the first part of the Great Tribulation, two billion people are going to lose their lives in war, famine and death. You don't have to be here for what's coming upon this world. It doesn't matter what you've done. Jesus has promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him in truth. The only thing that God is asking of you is will you receive the free gift of God? Will you receive my son and his sacrifice for you on the cross? Because if any man says that he has no sin, then he's a liar and the truth and the truth is not in him. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and no liars shall inherit everlasting life. This is so important. In fact, it's the most important message you will ever hear in this world. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ because your eternity depends on whether or not you are going to accept or reject the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes. And it doesn't matter what, you, what you're doing, what you've done, turn to the Lord Jesus. He will not turn you away. He has promised he will never turn anyone away. He only wants you to do one thing, and that's believe. Believe. Yes, Jesus died on the cross for all my sin. Yes, I believe it. Yes, I believe it in my heart that he was raised to life on the third day. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Saved, sealed, sanctified, justified with everlasting life. You'll never lose your salvation. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven. And this is available to you all. And it doesn't matter what you've done. Turn to the Lord. Believe the gospel. Lay hold of your salvation and your eternal security. Because your body contains your spirit and your soul, which are eternal. And one day... Depending on whether or not you've accepted or rejected the Lord Jesus, you're going to spend eternity either in paradise, the most beautiful place you could ever imagine, in heaven, or you're going to go down to hell, into outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. And all who reject the love of the truth, all who reject the Lord Jesus and his sacrifice for us on the cross are going to go to outer darkness for eternity. Please consider what I am saying. Stop gambling with your souls. Jesus Christ said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand are you one of Jesus sheep then hear the words of the Lord Jesus God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus that whosoever whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell but have everlasting life. These are the words of the Lord Jesus. There's a heaven and there's a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus is going to determine which one you spend eternity in. Heaven or hell. And the Bible says that you have a choice. Please don't be so foolish to reject the one and only who can save you and grant you everlasting life. The one who put you here in the first place. Return to him. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon Lay hold of your salvation. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, no, sir, no, I don't want to miss. Thank you. Thank you. Please pray, guys, that my speaker would continue to work. Thank you. If there's any, if this 
been brought with a curse. The Lord God just makes it clean and sanctified in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, have a rest. In, in other words, stop preaching. I'm just going to upload this. God bless you guys. Some strange stuff going on, there really is. Please pray for the protection of this device and the speaker. Thank you. We've already had one video just taken off. God bless you.